So class, today I wanted to show you how to navigate and work through your e-portfolio. So here's your e-portfolio. This is the page that we were doing and be sure that it says student portfolio. You can change your name to, to your name or you can change the title however you want it to look like. Um, in your home page, you need to have your about me, your achievements, your strengths, and your goals. And also on the bottom, you need to have your email address right here on the bottom. When you go to the right, you'll have these options. You have insert, pages, and themes. So right now we need to be sure we click on the pages tab and you'll see home, classes, and activities. When you click on classes, you'll have this screen. On this screen, you need to be sure that you put 2020 to 2021 school, let me go ahead and change that, school year. You are then going to go scroll down, and it should say fifth grade, but right here where it says homeroom, you're going to change it from the lady teacher name that's there to Mr. Chavez. And then right here where it says classes, it'll say math. And then right here, there should be another one that says art. But to get rid of it, you can go ahead and highlight it like that and then press the backspace. And here you can put art, I not art. I apologize, science. So get rid of art and put science. So it should look like this, where it says classes, we have math and science. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the right where on the arrow, you're gonna click on this arrow and you'll see math and this one should say art. You need to click where it says art and then right here you double click it and now you have this bar show up and should be highlighted. You can erase it and type science. So now you have two web pages. Now you have one that says math, and then you have another that says science. On the science page, right here, you should be typing, this is where we are learning all our topics for science. Now where it says projects, you're going to get rid of this title and you're going to put second six weeks. Now, when you put second six weeks, you're going to put them in this order. You're going to put melts, like what we were learning about in the beginning. Then you're going to put electricity. And then right here should be light. Just like that. So in here, you can search the web, the internet for any information that you have on melts. Remember, melts is mechanical, electrical, light, thermal, and sound. So you can find anything in here and you can add it to this section here. The same thing for electricity. Find all the information that you would want on electricity right here. And for light, like we're learning about today, you can go ahead and put all your information here on light. So this is basically like your your cheat sheet, your interactive notebook right here for your page for the second six weeks right here. Uh, let me go ahead and show you what to put for math. So I'm gonna go right here to the right where it says math. And on the math section, it should already give you the title. And this is what I want you to put right here. For the week of October 19th through the 23rd, we are learning about dividing decimals. Or you guys have something different. We're going to get rid of that and we're going to put fifth grade math topics 20 through 21 school year. And so right here, we're going to get rid of where it says dividing decimals and we're going to put second six weeks. Where it says describe what you learned, we're going to get rid of it. These are the topics we have learned in math for the second six weeks. Now right here where it says topic, the first topic right here, we're going to put multiplying whole numbers.
and then we're going to put and multiplying decimal numbers. Over here for the last topic right here, we're going to put dividing decimal numbers. And we're going to put dividend decimal only. So these are the titles that you guys should be putting in for math. Okay. And again, the same thing for math. You're going to search the internet, put down notes, put down videos in your sites that relate to this topic. Okay. The same thing for multiplying whole numbers and multiplying decimals. You're going to search the video, the internet. You're going to search YouTube, find videos and everything that will help for this topic right here. Remember, this website is yours. So you pick whichever ones that you like that you can post on here for math and science. So those are the only two that we should be working on right now. Um, your home page should already be done. But in case it's not, this is what your home page should have. Now you can change the pictures. You don't have to have the pictures that are there. Remember, you just edit it. But the, the titles and everything else that I showed you for math and science, those titles have to be there. Okay? So thank you for watching and have fun with your website.